up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a hair video because I haven't done one in a really long time. And I feel like the last one that I did had a lot of positive feedback on it. So I was like, well, my hair has changed a little bit, so I'm going to do a video. So I have recently gotten my hair colored. Um, if you go back and watch my previous video, you'll see the difference. It's been, it's been through a lot. So I actually have some clips from just the shit that my hair has been through. People done fried and dyed me and I just don't understand why it's been so difficult. But I just got a cut and you probably, yeah, you probably can't tell from my last video on here, but having the cut helps me so much because my hair grows out so when it's longer it's heavier and it makes the top parts not get curly so i've considered taking them a little bit shorter just because i'm missing the fro life like i didn't have like a real afro but when my hair is short it's like and i like big hair and this is just not big to me so usually when i wear it down i take this whole section and put it up because my hair is so fracking thick. So I wanted to tell you guys what I used for my wash routine. If you guys want to see a wash routine, I can do that. But like when I watch those, I just think it's so weird watching people like in the shower washing their hair. And if I did that, I would honestly want to, I don't know, wash my hair in the sink or something. I just, I just, I don't, I don't know if I'm about that life. So I... Deep conditioned my hair last night and I've gone back to the good old coconut oil and it was just like so cool to watch me put it in my hair and just see my curls come out. Like they just came to life as soon as I threw it on. I have been using a Shea moisturizer type of thing and I think that it worked great but that crap is expensive and my coconut oil like never does me wrong so I'm just gonna keep trying to switch it up so my hair doesn't get used to stuff uh but the coconut oil that I use is just in this huge jug and this is from Costco I bought it from there and I've had it for a really long time and I just make sure that I put hair oil because some people will be putting it back and forth to the kitchen but I'm like you touch your hair and then you touch that, but I guess people heat it up. I don't know. I just know my coconut oil's got like pieces of hair in it and stuff, so I will not be using it to cook anytime soon. So then I washed my hair with a new shampoo and conditioner that I've been using, and I kind of fell in love with it when I got my hair cut because I didn't realize how badly my hair like needs oil in it. And the lady kept talking about it and stuff. And then my hair was so shiny when I got done. Like, it was straightened, obviously. She straightened it so I could see the layers and see everything in it. But um, I just feel like my hair is really shiny right now. So I give all the credit for that to the shampoo and conditioner. It is the Redken Diamond Oil High Shine Shampoo. This is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. Now, if you look at the bottom, there's like this weird stuff down there and it's actually glitter. Like I wish that I, my ring light was working so you guys, you can kind of see it. So you guys could really tell, but um, it's basically like putting this glitter into your hair. But I, I try not to use it every wash. I only wash like every two or three days and I swap back and forth between this and my Diva Curl uh, line products because those things have just revitalized the curl life. If you want a video just about those, I will do one. But this is also changing me for good now because I know when I straighten my hair, it's gonna be shiny and I like that. Once I do that, I do like to leave a little bit of the conditioner in when I get out. And I, I'm sorry that my hair is like really flat looking at the top. It's still a little bit wet. Uh, but I like to go in while it is completely wet and put on this Purology spray. It's for colored hair and it's an anti-fade complex, but it's, it's a leave-in conditioner and it smells really, really good. This bottle though was like over $20 and I remember being like, I don't I need it 
So I just took the jump and bought it, but it's one of those products that I'm like, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this unless I see like a drastic difference. So I like it. It kind of reminds me of the It's a 10. So then I like to style my hair with this product and it's actually pretty perfect for fall in my opinion because in the summertime, it's so humid here that I really have to like think about what I'm using in my hair because otherwise I'm just a frizzy mess and I have to use like really heavy duty like something that's going to hold the curl so this product claims that it's heavy duty but I don't think I could get away with using this in the summer I think I might be able to get away with using it if I combine other products from their line like with this but it is it is the diva curl archangel gel it this one is the maximum hold and it says no crunch and i'm like in my head i'm gonna be a frizzy mess if there is no is not a crunch like some type of a crunch you know because that's like the barrier between me and the frizz if that makes sense so i haven't tried out other products in their line because i was trying to find a gel that actually worked for me because I had like the other, there's another gel that isn't very, like literally I would put it in and it was like I didn't even put hair gel in. So I definitely think this product needs to be combined with something, but for now it's really what's working for me. It holds my curl for a couple of days before I wash it. So define and control your hair with this. And I literally do like the rake and shake method, which you guys will see the video but I rake and shake it and then I use a diffuser now I used to think that you could literally use like any blow dryer any diffuser I thought that it didn't matter but it matters like I went and purchased a chi blow dryer and it has literally changed my life I got rid of my other blow dryer so quick after I got this because I never realized like how drying the other one was like i don't know what it is about this hair dryer but it really really works and i just use this chi now i do think that i bought this from like tj maxx or something like during christmas it was on sale so i definitely recommend doing something like that like i think that mine came like that because it has like this chip out of the side but it's the chi pro low emf one and it has like a high and a low setting and then you obviously can add cool so I use it on high heat if I'm in a hurry but I do use it on cool and if I have to use the heat setting like the whole time then I'll make sure to hit it with cool before I leave so today for this purpose of this ooh, for the purpose of this video I didn't um show the diffusing because you guys saw it in my last video and if you want to see that, I'm going to have it linked so you can go back and watch it. But I diffused the exact same way. So I didn't feel like there was a need to throw that in. And I literally just do it until it's like a little bit damp. And then I try to let it air dry the rest of the time. And that is literally only because it is fall and I'm not having to worry about heat messing up my hair. So we are going to jump right in to the actual tutorial part and pretty much just going to show you like what I do when I get out of the shower to get my hair to look like this. Oh, I forgot to talk about this other thing that I got from Diva, the Diva Curl line. This has been, this has been a lifesaver for me, but it is the Diva Curl, uh, like towel, like the microfiber towel. And it has this thing at the bottom. So you can obviously do the little turban thing on your head and, um, it, I don't know what this is made out of. I think it said microfiber when I got it, but I'm about to go get like three of them because it helps make your hair not frizzy. Like, and I don't have to do the damn t-shirt thing because I don't be having t-shirts to spare. So I really like this. This towel is a little bit expensive, but like it actually dries your hair too. Like the t-shirt is like, that is soaked in two seconds. And this like, it dries your hair so I highly recommend using this but I try to when I get out of the shower wear this as long as I can to just soak up as much excess water as possible to cut down on drying time so let's get on to the tutorial part
curly hair right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there's other tutorials or videos that you guys want to see, let me know and I will be sure to get them up for you. Thanks guys. Bye.